Hi, I'm Andy and I'm a volunteer for the Brain Tumor Charity. And today I'm going to talk about my experiences with fatigue. I was diagnosed with a meningioma, grade two, right parietal, so top right, uh, which was removed surgically seven years ago with some recurrence dealt with through uh, gamma knife radiotherapy two years ago. I first started noticing my fatigue after my brain surgery, really. Um, I noticed after I'd recuperated and I'd got back to work, I started feeling a lot more drained and a lot more run down on the weekends. And I was struggling during the week as well. And uh, I think in hindsight, I probably was feeling more fatigued during the last few months leading up to my diagnosis when I was still working. But I kind of put that down to a busy lifestyle, getting older. Um, and it was only really once I recuperated and I realised that actually, no, this was different. Um, this was fatigue. This is something I'd not experienced before. So um, it's something that was new to me and it took me a while to realise what, what it actually was. So what does it feel like, fatigue? Um, to me, it's like having a, a really bad hangover, but you haven't had the fun of getting the hangover. So you feel really drained physically and mentally, really tired, but you can't sleep often with a pretty bad headache and just feeling rough, just listless, no energy and, and just feeling drained. And it's not very pleasant at all. You just feel quite ill, to be honest. Um, and fatigue, ten, in my case, tends to come on during the day as well. So quite often you wake up in the morning, you'll be fine during the afternoon, you think, and then during the evening it can, it, it can come on. And I, unfortunately, I've had many evenings where I've just felt really bad, really ill. Initially, I thought I was actually ill. And then I realised, no, there was a pattern there. And um, I'd feel really ill at night and then feel fine in the morning. And it was the fatigue that was, that was causing that illness. So it's it's more than just feeling tired. So when people say they're fatigued, it isn't just tiredness. It's it's, it's a lot worse than tiredness. So uh, it's it's pretty unpleasant, unfortunately. How do I explain fatigue to others? Well, I, I, I liken your brain and the mental energy you have each day as uh, to your mobile phone battery. So if you think of your, your brain as being a mobile phone battery. So most healthy people, you'll go to sleep, you, you'll have a good sleep, you'll wake up and your your brain will be charged to about 80, 90 percent, maybe 100 if you're lucky. And then during the day, as you, you use your brain more, uh, it uses up that the battery and then it gets down to about 30, 40 percent. But that's fine for most people. You feel a bit tired, but that's OK. You go to sleep. Uh, recharge it and on you go. For people like myself that have had a brain injury and a brain a brain tumour, um, I don't sleep very well. So I wake up, my brain's probably charged around about 60, 65%. And then because it's had a trauma, the brain works hard just to exist because it knows it's had a trauma. So it's trying to fix it all the time. So you use up that energy more. Um, and then as you do things during the day, be it physical exercise or mental exercise or using your mental energy for doing something that's particularly taxing, be that a Zoom call, chairing a meeting, reviewing documents, talking to a lot of people, being in a noisy situation, all those take more energy. And unfortunately, then if your, your brain gets below 20%, just like your phone battery, it turns red and it says, I don't like this. And that's when the fatigue really kicks in. So for me, it's 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 the only way to fix the fatigue is to recharge the brain effectively like a mobile phone battery. And the only way to do that is to sleep. And it's not a nap. It's not taking it easy. It's not having a quiet few minutes. It's sleep is the only way to really get rid of the fatigue to allow you to start the next day in a non-fatigued state. How did I find out more about fatigue? Well, there wasn't much support from, from like the, the medical profession. So I use the Brain Tumor Charity a lot, their websites and their online support groups, their Facebook groups, talking to others and since actually physically talking to others that have had brain injuries and hearing their stories and hearing how they cope and hearing what causes it. So that's how I found out. It's a bit of self-help. I didn't really go to the medical profession because by the time I realised I was getting fatigued and I knew what it was, I felt I had more information probably than GPs did about what it is, uh, what causes it. And, and how you deal with it as well.